Hi everybody. So thank you for joining me. And I haven't made a video at all in a while because I've been going back to school online, trying to get my bachelor's of science in nutrition. And I guess I didn't really realize how much time that I was gonna have to devote to that. So I finally, I had finished my first 10 weeks, yay. And I was wanting to just take some downtime and get back into art. And so the art that I was inspired to make, it was a, like my take on the uh, legend of the two wolves. Um, they say that it's historically related back to Cherokee. And I looked online, I could not find it told in Cherokee or written in Cherokee as far as the resources. So if you guys know, I would love to see that. So if you wanna comment down below, um, I'm gonna, Put a picture up of the painting that I did that inspired me to do this face painting. By the way, this video is about face painting. Um, so a little bit different, um, but the Cherokee word for wolf, I did look that up and it is wahya, wahya. And I have this to go by. My partner got that for me for Christmas this past uh, 2021. Well, 2020 we haven't had 2021 christmas yet but it's we have our christmas on new year's so anyway um this camera angle all right is what i'm going to be using as my template for doing my face painting and so for the two wolves basically it is talking about how there's a battle that goes on inside of all of us and it you've got the one wolf that's you know he's the bad wolf he's the envy the greed the you know all of these negative thoughts that come to our heads and then you've got the good wolf you know the generosity the um the looking after other people you know like putting others before yourselves basically and love you know so um with that i'm gonna do a uh, half face paint of the bad wolf and then half the good wolf and see how this turns out. So whenever I would do face painting, even before all the COVID hit, I was using Q-tips and I know that's not the most environmentally friendly, but as far as sanitation and working with children, you can dip the Q-tip in your paint and you can just throw the Q-tip away fresh, you know, so you're not re-dipping the germs into the paint that you're gonna be using on the next and the next and the next kids. So, um, this is the brand of face paint that I had left over. Um, it's not been opened, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. If you can see that, it's the face paint uh, water washable. It's the Hobby Lobby brand, paid $4.99 for it um, two years ago. I'm not sure what it's retailing now. Hopefully, they still carry it because this is a really good brand. Not all face paints are created equal. The first brand that I got, um, I was testing on my son because I got asked at work, um, I work at a pharmacy and they were having a community day. And I don't do so great under pressure, like <laughs> to sit at a computer and type things out whenever people are staring you down and you've got a lot of people coming in and asking questions. Like I don't multitask well. <laughs> so um, my boss at the time, he knew that I was into art and he knew that I was good with, you know, just talking to customers like not so much carrying on conversation but just to be smiling and friendly and you know even whenever people have a bad attitude it's like i can let it roll off easier than some people that might snap back at them so uh he's like you we want you out front and would you care to do face painting for the kids I was like, yeah that sounds awesome first thing i'm going to do like i said is to start with the eye makeup now I'm just going to tell you what I'm using as I put it on. So I've got the Maybelline, and this is the Master Precise Eye Studio Black Liner. All right. So my mirror is over here. I'm just going to look into this. That is just the outline for my eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead, come in with a brush. For this one, I'm just going to do a large area. And then this is the NYC New York Color Individual Eyes for the Smoky Browns. 
So that's the 941 Smoky Browns palette. I'm gonna take my slam. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yay. Thankful for touchscreen computers. <laughs> All right. So this one is like the silvery one at the bottom. I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna cover this whole area, like eyebrow all the way up. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides. This is gonna be, like I said, the two-tone wolf. I have to actually imagine a wolf as I do this. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. Probably should have told you before we started this. Oh, I look like I got a black eye. Okay, so before I started this, washed my face, used witch hazel. This stuff is amazing. It's a toner. When my husband had shingles, they said Don Barrow soaks, but if you can't find that, get you some witch hazel. And I remembered it because it kind of sounds like a Halloween character, like witch hazel. All right, so uh, this is awesome for helping tone and close up your pores so you don't get the dark makeup in them and then after that dried I put on my I love this stuff uh fruit of the earth vitamin e skincare cream and let that uh, set just so that it's moisturized your skin before you start adding all this to it all right, so anyway I've got that eye covered in now the as you can see the light, it's still gonna have a little bit. So I'm gonna come on, even though this is gonna be my uh, lighter side, so to speak, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the lid color, just a little dark. All right, there we go. There is that. And so next we're gonna go ahead and start with the face painting. All right, so begin I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit outline and I love this this has a sharpener on the end I've had it for years I don't know if they even still make these but I hope they do it's the elf um it is a shimmer eyeline pencil so it's got like that metallic to it and I just sharpened it before I got started but that is handy a little sharpener on the lid all right so going back to my guide the ears would be up here, like if you had a pair of ears, that would be really cute. Um, and the nose, as you can see, it doesn't start up here. It's going to be down toward the mouth, so I'm going to have to quit talking. Okay, do this with this mirror. So if you're still watching this, like, have you guys done face painting before? Have you had your face painted before? Like, what's some of your favorite designs that you've seen? I always like finding new design ideas. Let's look at a little bit better. For some reason, I feel like goofy. And if you're doing a big setup and you've got a lot of kids waiting in line and, you know, school's going to be getting out soon, so they all, you don't want anybody to not get their face painted. And so if you really work on, you know, one side, let it dry, then the other side, always kind of be planning ahead so that you're not smearing and you're not waiting on that to dry. You can be going back and forth, like while you're putting on one area, the other area can be setting and just quicker application. 
So on that, we're gonna let the white dry and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the black. If I was doing like a school or a fair type setting, typically would not do a full face like this just because of the time that it takes. Um, that in. All right, so, and once I get done with this, I'm gonna be adding some actual makeup back onto it. Uh, so again, not for your carnival type of setting this would be more than likely unless you've really got the time to work with or unless you're a whole lot quicker than I am that could be the case and if so kudos to you all right lot of this like I said it's been a long time since I've done face painting so it's kind of trial and error I take that back I actually did do my face for Halloween last year and I was the Cheshire cat and that turned out pretty cool so I'll link a picture to that um but clearly need more practice You get good at anything. Practice, practice, practice. All right. What? Doing this kind of reminds me, if you're going to be doing large coverage, instead of having the little tubs of paint, it would probably be better to have the larger um, background paints, I guess you'd call them base paints. Base paint for the face paint. So... I've just been learning as I go, but if you're watching this and you know about face painting and like what's a good brand to use as far as uh, budget friendly, uh, good for sensitive skin, as far as um, coverage goes, just if you'll comment that down below, that would be awesome, like very helpful to know. What would be a good coverage for a base paint? Well, then there. I think I actually set the snarl up a little too high, so I'm going to see if I can correct that. Because I moved his nose down lower, so obviously the mouse got to move with it. And so, I'm going to come in and fix the eyes up a little bit. And I'm going to come on a little face. So like this, I'm just using the Q-tip for the dark. Forget to tell you, this is the Twilight and Dusk palette by You Can Be, and I really like their um, makeup. This one's my favorite. The Eden, the gold, is what I use like normal makeup, just to kind of highlight around the corners of the eye. I see that, but that is filling in nicely. Look at that. Cover in some of this. 
I'm gonna leave some of that highlight in there. This is the most I have used this cashmere color on this palette like ever. So, how's your schoolwork coming along? Awesome. Yeah, you can do it. You're good at writing. Mwah. This is my son. He's doing homeschool. And I didn't really want him to do homeschool, but with all the COVID, he and my partner had kind of talked me into it. And he loves it. And honestly, he is really good at getting up in the morning and getting himself started. Like, way better than I was. Like, he gets up before I do. Sometimes he's on there for like an hour working on his schoolwork before I'm even out of bed. <laughs> so, I think as long as he's learning and enjoying, I'd like for him to be interacting a little bit more. But he is an awesome kid. He's actually who inspired me to go back to college. All right, this white wolf is not working out. Covered in with that silver, thinking it would make it gray, and that actually just made it worse. So, come back in here. Let's see how this mixes now that I've got that. Here's get in it. Around the nose where I couldn't get that good coverage. I'm just gonna pull that. So my white wolf is gonna turn it into a wolf. And that's okay. We improvise. Like Bob Ross said, there's no mistakes, only happy little accidents. I think with art, it's not so much how good you are is just how much time you're willing to spend on the details. Once you learn the details, it doesn't take quite as long. At least I'm hoping that's the case with me on this. Mm. So look, oh, you know what we forgot to add? Whiskers. Cut my out. So for that, I'm going to go back in with this e.l.f. metallic. Okay. get them feel a more cat monkey than wolf but hmm. oh forgot to tell you um so i've got the la colors got the lip liner pencils and this one is smooth plum for the darker and this one is same thing and it is forever red okay so the smooth plum I'm gonna start to kind of outline snarl Pretty happy with the way this is going on. It's not trying to pull the makeup, which really helps a lot. Just a couple of little pointing, and like a larger tooth back here. Molar. <laughs> Came from my partner. Uh, our dentist is nice enough to give you the teeth back after he pulls them. Kind of fun. 
Like a little reward. Better than a sticker. <laughs> oh, yes. Now these little paint brushes. These aren't makeup brushes. They're actually art paint brushes. This is a two slash, looks like zero golden edge. It's a teeny tiny little bristle. So I'm going to take that and tip it into... I just realized the angle of the tooth looks a little weird, but we'll make do. Getting tired. <laughs> Alright, so this is just to kind of make those teeth stand out. And for these, I am dipping them in the rubbing alcohol and wiping them on a paper towel. Sanitize the brush so I'm not just re-dipping and spreading the pigments and germs back into the paint. So I'm going to use the Forever Red LA Lip Liner on this eye. I'm just going to kind of try to pull down and draw a pupil. And this might not even work. In fact, it's acting like it's not wanting to work at all. I've got too much of the black already down. All right. You know what we could do? We could do, I've done this before. I do not suggest that you use this on your eyes, but I am going to use the face paint on my eyelids. Okay. And this, it does tend to crack with a lot of movement. So this would be just a quick, like for a picture. Because if you wear it out, it's going to be and then I'm done. Really Kind of like the way that looks anyway. All right, and then on this side, I've got this aqua color. My lighter wool, my good wool. get it too thick because that will make it cake and peel. I like a husky wolf. They have the two different eye colors. That is anything but right. My nose is not the same as its nose. So like I know if you were watching this as far as for a tutorial, <laughs> it looks like I'm talking out of it as nose. I am. Ah. But if you were watching this for a tutorial on how to win a body painting competition, this would not be the video for you. But as far as to get a result that you're happy with for a photo, I would say, you know, put the time in, get the details right. Don't stop until you're happy with the results. Because before I was like, if we were doing this on a time limit, I would just be ready to give up and call it a day because it was not coming along. But the farther I keep working with it and the more time I put into it, it's a lot more time than I would like to have spent in my day doing this. But to have the photo and the result and to hopefully be able to share this with you has been totally worth the time that it takes. So. 
I will try to condense this all down so this isn't a two hour video. But if you have stayed and watched this, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Um, if you've got any design suggestions, again, leave those in the comments. I would love to see that. Um, this isn't the typical video I do on this channel. I'm wanting to be more like a learning Cherokee language, riding with feet. Um, I'm doing some nutrition, so I wanna be showing you some recipes and products that I do enjoy that add value to my life. Um, but if you've got any suggestions, things that you would like to see, uh, just please comment down below, let me know. And thank you so much. I'm gonna continue this so you can see the end result. This is the Master Holographic Powder by Maybelline that I used for finishing the face paint. I picked it up at Walmart last Halloween and absolutely love how it shimmers. Here you can see that the good wolf turned out not as well as the bad wolf. I suppose it's the same in life that it's often easier to feed the bad wolf by reacting negatively than to be mindful, kind, and loving. Looking at the finished picture, I was happy with how it turned out. I just wish that I had outlined around the eyebrow of the good wolf a little darker, but other than that, I'm pleased with it. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and thanks again for watching.